express d times 4d to the fourth to the 1 half power as a radical expression. So the key thing to realize here is that if I take anything, if I take anything to the 1 half power, by definition, this is the same thing as taking the principal root of that anything. So let's just apply that here. We have 4d to the fourth raised to the 1 half power. So this part right over here, let me do it in two different colors. So I have d right over there. And then I have 4d to the 4th raised to the 1 half power, which, is, which by definition is the principal root, the principal root of 4d to the 4th. And we explore in other videos why this all works out well with uh, exponent properties. And we know how to simplify this right here. We're looking for the principal root of, let me write this this way. This is the same thing. This is the same thing as d times the principal root of 4 times the principal root of d to the 4th times the principal root of d to the fourth. The principal root of 4, principal root of 4 is 2. And we have that d out front. And the principal root of d to the fourth power is the, I guess you could view it as the positive square root of d to the 4. And that is d squared. And we don't have to put an absolute value here, because even if d is a negative value, d squared will still be a positive value. If this was a d squared here, then we would have to think about the absolute value right over here. And then just to simplify this, we have a d times a 2 times a d squared. That's multiply the d's times each other, same base. That becomes d to the third. So this becomes 2 times d to the third power. Now, another way you could have done this is to just straight use the exponent properties. You could have said that that is the same thing as d times, and inside the parentheses, if you, if you take the product of things and then raise them to an exponent, that's the same thing as raising each of them individually to the exponent and then taking the product. So that's the same thing. So I'm going to rewrite this part right over here as 4 to the 1 half power times d to the fourth to the 1 half power. And 4 to the 1 half power, this is literally just the principal square root of 4, which is 2. And d to the fourth to the 1 half power, this is, again, you can use an exponent property. If I have something raised to some power, and then I have it raised to another power, this is the same thing as that same base raised to the product of these powers. And we prove it in other videos. So this right over here, this expression right over here is going to be equal to d to the 4 times 1 half power. Well, what's 4 times 1 half? Well, that's just 2. So this simplifies, once again, a d times 2 times d squared, which is 2d to the third power.